I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. done on the latest Isima. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? I'll have you all replaced by Mrs. Pankhurst's bridge club. I'll do a better job than you people. Supposed to be ironic. I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God. Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. Listen, 
Sally Boyle's going to come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod of Royal? The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Easily. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Smells awful. This is where they flush the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. If I don't mind poison in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. We can restore a batch of slightly defective joy. How many batches of slightly defective joy have gone out?
Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? You can't run with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Uh, a hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Should clear up soon, I imagine. I've got a new compliment machine. It's so great. There you are. Righto. <laughs> Lovely day for it. Did you hear?
Oh, your move, Sandman. It's been a hard day's night, that was. Now boarding off platform four, the Shogger Express, stopping at Dunwich, Innsmouth, Kingsport, Arkham, and the lost city of Pillars. Passengers were advised to check their sanity prior to stepping onto the train. That was scenic. Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as right, right as right. Don't you look well? Lovely day for it. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Mm. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Do you think she really...
really meant it. The kiss and all. What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? No! A girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. <laughs>